really, really well. And, you know, I wasn't there, but I, I heard stories and I, I've been on the mat with them. And I, so I have an idea, right? But they were really good at using their grips, at using their hands, at beating the tar out of you with their hands. And it's all legal, okay? And it's just tough wrestling. So when you spend a lot of time in here, you know, okay, be strong. I'm fighting for him. I'm pulling. I'm gripping. I'm squeezing. I'm twisting. And then he puts his hand. He gets inside. And I chop him up hard. And I hand him. And I'm real physical. You're physical with your hands, right? My pet. But it, I don't need us to be that physical right now. But what I want you to do is when you put your hands on, and you, if you got your hand here, I can say it to him blue in the face. I can put your hand there. If you don't understand it and do it, it's just never gonna be right. Your hand generally is too shallow. I can push like this. If I want to control of my hand, my wrist must move to the back of his arm with my elbow on the inside. Doesn't mean I give him an underhook. I don't give him an underhook, okay? My elbow stays in here, my wrist is doing the power and I'm grabbing the back of his tricep with my fingers. My hand is in his armpit. I got a lot of control. Now I can use the big powerful muscles in my back. This is why we do pull-ups. This is why we do pull-ups. This is mine. And I own this arm. I can do so much with this. But if you just put your hands on them soft and shoot, you didn't, you're not understanding the grips. Now when I pull this to me and I twist him and he's pushing back, the whole time I'm getting stronger with my hands. My hands are getting stronger and I'm learning how to transition from one tie to another tie. And be heavy, and this is grown man wrestling. Okay, this is this is college wrestling at the highest level, yes. Is there, is, the, the term I heard for, is there a term that was that heavy hand? Heavy hands. Heavy hands, my hands are always heavy. Heavy hands. Get you stronger, it's good to say. Heavy, heavy, heavy. We want heavy hands and we want light feet. Yeah. Heavy hands yeah. and light feet. So your feet are still light, but your hands are heavy. And I can use my, my body weight is what does it. Pushing with my body weight. I'm not pushing with the muscles of my arm. I'm using my whole body and my hips on everything. Okay? So as you grip, when I see you go soft hands and you just shoot, don't let go and shoot right now. We are doing a split hand shot. So you're pulling like a near arm far leg. Probably should teach near arm far leg first, but we're not going to because I do think it is harder. But gripping and say that. I want to pull this shoulder down. I don't just let go of it. I need to start to pull, and I let go. That makes it easier for me to get cor the corner because he doesn't want to go to his back. He doesn't want to go to his back. If you pull, he feels like he's going to go to his back. He's going to raise up, you get the backside. Makes sense, or you stand up easy. Do it right, one, two.